Here we are, let's just get through security first. We just got through security, I'll tell you now, they're a bit funny a little bit then. Truthfully, I hate this guy. Down here we've put a bit of chilli vinegar on, all over, don't be shy. She's not dignified. Now then lads and lasses, good morning. It's Sunday, I'm off to a football game today. You've probably seen by the ticket who I'm going to watch. But let's just say I'm going to the worst stadium in the Premier League. If you haven't already seen the ticket, I'll leave it a surprise. I won't tell you the team name, I won't, until we actually get to the ground. You're probably also wondering as well, why aren't you doing a match day vlog kind of video? The reason is, I just want a, a bit of different rebranding. I wanted a bit of different kind of rebranding within my channel. Anyways, it ain't half foggy today. I'm in a proper rush as well. Train leaves in, what, 10 minutes? And I'm a good five, 10 minutes away from the station, so it's going to be tight. But don't worry, I'll make it. I'll have to put on the burners to get running. I hurt my Nevo last night doing a 5k run. Naughty. Anyways, lads and lasses, I need to get a scoot on, so I'll see you in London. Bash. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Welcome to London. Now, I'm at St. Pancras Station. I don't have to come in here. You know, it's beautiful with here. I can't swear because I'm going to get monetized soon, so I want a bit with policies and that. But honestly, beautiful here. I've heard we've got Christmas tree, the lot. I don't often come in here. I think this is the one you get if you want to go to like Paris, Amsterdam, I don't know, Euro or something, innit? Anyway, they're very high on security today because of this, what's going on in the centre of London, these protests and that. But uh, I'm in a bit of a rush, mate. I mean, it's everywhere. I'm just going to um, need to get my train to Stratford now because otherwise it's another like 30, 40 minute wait. Probably just giving it away there, like where I'm going, because you may well know Stratford to be the area of London, which you could probably get a football team located around there. But anyway, I need to get this right train. There's so many trains here. Uh, right. Now, I don't, I don't know what this is saying here. This is on about going up north. I don't want to go back to Notch just yet. I'll tell you now, I want to be going back to Notch with three points, not with no. Anyway, I think I'm platform 12, just down this elevator. So I'm going to go down here, get platform 12 and get a distract. I need to get the race out, otherwise I've got to wait another 40 minutes for a train. Now, I went to the underground earlier to like to go there instead, and the train got delayed. So I'm thinking, yeah, oh, let's just go to St. Pancras and go the other way, you know what I mean? Here we are, platform 12. Cushy baby. This station is massive. We've got train signboards everywhere. Honestly, the biggest one I've ever been to this. I don't often come in here, that's why I'm not used to it. Here we are, Stratford International, that's me. Let's get sorted. Bye. Get up there boys, just got to Stratford International now. I'll tell you now, it's proper, proper industrialised around here. I've really been to find the bog because I really need a leak. I'll tell you that, so I'm in a bit of a rush to find a bog. And then I'll show you the stadium. Jesus, I don't half hate it around here. You have to look in every single direction, the roads and that. Some of them are even closed, I don't know what's going on. Get up there, that's the stadium today then. Can you see it? No worries just not, because we're going to get there in a moment to dive for a bog row. Well, if you haven't already figured it out where I am, this sign should tell you. Welcome to the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park. So where do you want to call it? Olympic Park, London Stadium, West Ham United. Get up there, boys. After about two and a half hours of travelling, we're here. Yep, to you. Anyways, you know about this whole area and all that? It's too industrialised for me. I don't like it. You know, a few months ago, I was... I got the sat... What's it called? The sat knuckle through my ear. Can't hear myself talk. But yeah, anyway, a few months ago, I was driving through Mansfield, like, um, just just outside of Mansfield where there's literally nothing there, it's just fields, the lot, you know what I mean? If you're from Notch, you'll know, like, you got villagers, you got like Hockerton there, good eggs there, good protein. But anyway, I was driving through there with my best mate and uh, we were talking. I was saying, mate, honestly, I know you've not been West Ham, but bloody hell, compare this to West Ham, like, it's different, different levels, so industrialised, you know what I mean? Truthfully, if this sat now piped up anymore, I'm going to take these out of my hair and chuck them in this river over here. It's really winding me up. Now then, first of all, that is the Anchal Melotto Orbital Tower. Something like that. Do you know, when I uploaded here last time, matey put a comment saying, well, how do you know what that is? It's the Orbital Tower. Well, I don't know, mate. I've never been here before. But that is the Orbital Tower, apparently. And this stadium here, London Stadium, Olympic Stadium, whatever you want to call it, is this, I'm going to go straight in there, is this the worst stadium of the Premier League? 
truthfully, the answer is if we get three points, it's not. But I tell you now, that run track around the side of it, around the side of the ground, it's really dreadful for the views and that. You know what I mean? I mean, look, you've also got all this as well, all this industrial stuff. You know what I mean? What's that? Power station over there. Can you see that smoke? Actually, that reminds me, if any of you from where I'm from, Newark on Trent, I hope you were right, because we had a big explosion uh, yesterday, and smoke was all across the town. It was no good. It went over to the other villages outside, like towards Mansfield Way. Not good at all. Oh, yes. If Yatesy scores. If Yatesy scores. <laughs> what are we saying? We jump in there. Bash. Here we are. Let's just get through security first. All right, Kushti just got through security. I'll tell you now, they're a bit funny, they'll be then. Wanted me to go around through the away end entrance. But uh, I'll tell you now, I'm polite, though. Do you know if you have pillow and manage, you can get anywhere in life, but I'll tell you that. Anyways, truthfully, I hate this ground. Just look at it. It's just, just a massive dome. And uh, even, even inside, just, what is this? What's, what's the point of having a big bell outside the ground? What's this do? Program matey there, I'll be having one of them. Custy, all sword. Mikel Antonio as well. He was one of our over a time ago. I mean, they've got some decent food stalls, like, but other than that, it's just a massive dome, isn't it? Right, 12 pm, only calls for one thing. Let's get into the stadium. Do our sport kick off, why not? Let's get a nice hot dog like last year. I know they've got some strange options here, like churros and that, but you know what? While I'm here, I've just been told as well, turnstiles aren't going to open for another hour or so. I think I'm going to go go get this. Pie and mash. Let's have it. Oh, yes. So, matey here, top matey, just got pie and mash traditional uh, with extra thick liquor or something like that. Anyway. It's gonna be tasty, let's have it. Yeah, down here we put a bit of chili vinegar on. All over, don't be shy. A bit of white pepper. And that's how it comes. Traditional pie mash, let's see how this tastes. Honestly, I'm not even joking, this looks really good. Do you know, I've always wanted to try it. I'm gonna don't know where it's like come to market. I don't know where I'm gonna stand up my phone or sit. But anyway, let's see how this tastes. Anyway, it's pie and mash, traditional from matey over there. Told me to tag him, so I'll find him and I'll put him in the description for you. 14 quid, I think, but I've always wanted to try it. So let's see how this tastes. Now, I don't know how this is gonna look on camera. The camera angle is really, really funny for this. Uh, there's literally no chairs or anything. This is the problem with these things, but look at this. Pie and mash, always wanted to try it. Got the London special, let's see how this tastes. Got the liquor as well. He's put the extra, whatever it is, vinegar, I don't know. Oh, yes. Do you know what it tastes like? It tastes like fish fingers when I used to have them in what, 2014, 2015? If you have like your parsley sauce or whatever it's called. Do you know, this could just be their version of parsley sauce, truthfully. Like that, um, what's it called? Hellman's or whatever it is. Oh, hello, look at that. I don't know if you can see it. There's literally no word to stand this up. Over there. Here we are. This is better angle. You won't be able to see me eating it like, but I tell you now, it's piping up. Mince meat in there, very, very good. Just tastes like parsley sauce though, this liquor thing. Honey, you know what? Might have to go back there and get some eels or something. You know me. Do you know the only issue with this? It's not the food. The stadium's not good, like. But I just wish I had a seat to eat this dinner. I'll tell you that. But yeah, 14 quid. You should expect to get some seating in that area, or like where the store might is. But yeah. Cushy baby. God, what is this zesty foot position here? But I'll tell you now, this mash is good. I'm going to drop my phone. There's literally nowhere to put it. But I'll tell you now, this mash is really nice and creamy. Just how you like it, milk and butter in the whole lot. Anyway, so that pie mash was absolutely beautiful. I'll tell you that, that's probably one of the best foods I've ever had on any kind of football away day or any kind of football game at home or whatever. Anyways, I think I found the old end. Just been for a naughty slash as well, so I don't need to do that now. I took out these earphones, charged up the phone a bit, so I'm all ready to go in in about 10 minutes when it opens. Hello, hello. Oh, do you do this then, Yeah. Oh. Dordy, that was hard work. Great, I think we're up a tier. No good. Right, we're looking for 48. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm all the way at the end. Oh, what is this view? Right, so for the all-important view. Oh, I wish I was... You know, I wish it was repeated last season, to be honest. Yeah, I don't like this ground, but if I was sat where I was last season, it'd be bad. But look how I am. No good, I'll tell you that. No, no, no good. I'm sorry, but we're going to have Mullikin Tire going on down here. 
I'm going to have Ryan Yates songs going up here. We're all living in a world of Ryan Yates. Anyway, truthfully, I am shattered. So what I'm going to do is, because we had an issue with the turnstiles as well. It said half 12, I'm there at half 12, not at the opening or whatever, and he says, you can now all come through. Anyway, I think they were just having a, an error with the away end, but all the other turnstiles were all open before that, but yeah. Anyways, I'm not going to get any strength, because obviously I've had that very, very naughty pie of that. Oh, yes. Anyways, as regards to this, like, ring running track around the ground, it's just stupid because look when you're as high as what i am up here all the way at the back and then you've got a running track as well and another lower tier you're miles away from the pitch anyways no good but at least we get free wi-fi in here that'll be crusty anyways view's not the best but i'll tell you now i do think we'll put in a good shift today i don't think they're the strongest of sides obviously we're playing away like so we're going to struggle either way but you know what i think we can get something from today's game so i'm going to go 2-2 two -two today anyways come on the boys bash We are not together. We are not together. We are not together. You're it! Hey, Cooper. He is for Leicester. He is for Derby. Forest of Magic. Two, three, four. Stevie Cooper. Here we go, come on the boys. It's truthfully a bad view, but I'll tell you now, if we pick up three points, it don't matter. Stevie Cooper! Stevie Cooper! Leicester is for Derby, Forest of Magic! He will remember them. <laughs> Well, that didn't take fucking long, did it? Oh, 
like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. Here we go. Forest all over the world. Go on, Forest, sing. All and off the pitch. Forest or magic. All and off the pitch. All and off the pitch. Anyway, Marillo the cat eight, fantastic. Anyways, on to the second half. Back. Yes.
one to take this, I'll tell you that. Rough one, this one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. Oh. 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 What is that? Anger? Pathetic. It's annoying because she didn't do one. Because she didn't do one. They're down. We're the boys back to two one. Now then lads, the lass has just got back into Newark. I'll tell you now, it's a trek from Stratford after the game it is to go back up north because you go into international stations and all sorts down there. Christmas tree. They got it all going on here. Christmas tree with a lot. Anyways, I'll be back here sooner or later to make a video when it's proper festive season, not just yet though. Anyways, let me get home and get into some better light and I'll talk about this shite show at the London Stadium today then. Oh God. I am shattered. I've been up since 1am, means what? Alexa, what's the time? It's 9.54pm. And it's 9.54pm now, it's what, nearly 24 hours? Oh, something like that. <laughs> anyway, what I saw today was shocking defending. I'll tell you now though, Murillo was fantastic. He's honestly a world-class player. But yeah, the defending for the corners was just dreadful. Who was it? Dominguez, Danilo, I've not even watched any either, so I don't really want to. I don't want to watch Cooper's interview either, because I feel, feel like he messed up on the substitutions again today. Anyways, the main concept of this video was, is this the worst Premier League stadium? And you know what? It proved that it's the worst, because I couldn't even see who made the error at the other side of the pitch when, who was it, Danilo or Dominguez? I don't know, you tell me. Anyways, lads and lasses, I hope you will enjoy this video, and um, I've got a few new videos in mind. I'm thinking of doing a uh, dart challenge. Winky wink. Anyway, dark challenge coming soon. <laughs> I won't give too much away, but let's just say it could get very exciting. Anyways, I'll see you for the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to hit the like button, share it around. It's all much appreciated. And I'll see you for the next one. Bash.